A few weeks ago, a group working out of MIT in America and out of the Riken Institute in Japan managed to create false memories in a mouse. This study sounds disturbing like the triple-breasted blockbuster spectacular that was the 1990s film Total Recall starring, of course, your man Arnold Schwarzenegger in which he has his memories erased and then replaced with new ones. We thought it would be interesting to see what would happen if we used the exact methods that we used in that paper to try and implant false memories into Arnold Schwarzenegger. I need your clothes, your boots and your motorcycle. Right, right. Okay. Now first, they injected the part of the brain responsible for creating new memories with a virus which expresses a gene that allows those cells to be activated by light. Then the subject was placed in a box, and the neurons that encoded the memory of that box started expressing the gene that allowed them to be controlled by light. Now, they can flash the light on those neurons and recreate the memory of that place. But the next day, they put the mouse in a different box, box B, and they lightly electrified the floor to induce fear. Now, here is where they create the false memory, because they shine the light that activates the memory of box A, and it becomes associated with the fear from box B. Now, when it's in box A, that environment also creates fear. To top it off, after you've created that false memory, if you specifically activate those neurons, regardless of where our subject is, then you create fear. There aren't very many problems I can think of with this study, but there are always going to be some, so just some to bear in mind. This is a very powerful memory they're adding, fear, the idea of fear, it doesn't get much more powerful than that. So it's not the subtle kind of memories that maybe Arnie would have of travelling to Mars, but it's a proof of principle. Also, the false memory doesn't create a strong fearful behaviour as the real one. So although it is a false memory, it's not as powerful as the real thing. I've glossed over a lot of stuff, like how did they specifically identify the neurons that were responsible for each memory, but I can go into that in more detail if you like. Let me know. So, the message is in two parts. One, it's now possible to create false memories. And two, do not watch the new Total Recall, watch the original with Arnold Schwarzenegger, you will thank me.